Broncos fans, you probably heard the news by now, but the Broncos, particularly Sean Payton, spent four to five hours the other day with J.J. McCarthy, the day after his uh, pro day at the University of Michigan. Uh, Really interesting stuff. I think that now, also given the comments that he made during his interview uh, today or yesterday at the NFL owners meeting, hey, I think that this is a bit of a smokescreen. I wonder how you guys are are seeing this as well. But I would imagine that the Broncos are going to do their due diligence on the majority of these quarterbacks, have private workouts and visits with Jaden Daniels, Drake May, J.J. McCarthy, Bo Nix, Michael Pratt, Michael Penix, Spencer Rattler, all of those. Joe Milton. I've heard a little bit of the Joe Milton uh, steam lately. So I, I would imagine that, yeah, some of our top 30 visits are going to be used on these quarterbacks as they should. I would also have one with Caleb Williams just because, hey, gotta gotta have your due diligence. At the very least, you get a little bit better of a scouting report on him, or hopefully you can learn a thing or two that would be helpful if you're ever playing him, hopefully in the, in the NFC. So it won't be very often at all. But I do think this is a classic smokescreen. While Sean Payton is one of the more aggressive guys historically when it comes to drafting and always trading up, I don't think that this is the year where you see it, especially up to a pick like number four, which he insinuated by saying, hey, the Cardinals are available, specifically mentioned them by name. And maybe this is just something to drive up the price for the Minnesota Vikings, for the Las Vegas Raiders. We'll just have to see. But I do think uh, we are going to see a lot of quarterbacks go in this first round. And I didn't expect Anthony Richardson to be a top five pick or whatever he was last year. Ends up working his way well into the the top end of the first round. I was not expecting that. While we have seen guys fall in the past like Malik Willis, or, hey, even Will Levis this past year, right? I, I do think that there are more quarterback and needy teams that have more immediate needs than in the years past. So, yeah, I think the Broncos, if they do want to move up to pick nine, for instance, uh, or pick eight with the Atlanta Falcons, I think that that is a good good target and i think we could have enough draft capital to get there now one question for you guys would you rather trade a third this year or a third next year to move up and and do that would you rather trade future assets or trade the assets that we have right now and just be okay with hey if we're going to trade up and go get our quarterback whether that's mccarthy or bo nicks for instance are are you okay giving away draft capital this year or do you prefer to wait to the next Uh, y'all let me know But right now, I think that this is more of a smokescreen. I do think the Broncos can get Bo Nix at 12, and I do think they'll be able to move back for him. But who knows? This take could age like milk here in a month, like the majority of my takes do. But y'all let me know. Hey, want to let you know I did also cut up the uh, Alex Forsyth film room part two against the Rams. Sorry, just traveling right now so things are a little bit busier but that is coming along as well as i have also cut up a bone nix a film review as well if you guys are wanting to check that out so those will be coming later this week i appreciate y'all's patience please like subscribe we're on the way to 500 and of course let me know your thoughts in the comments should we take sean payton at his word I don't think so i think it's a smoke screen so until next time broncos country i will see you later As always, go Broncos.